Hey everybody, hope you guys are doing great today. What we're gonna do in this lesson today is learn a couple different shapes on this fretboard. This is a continuation from last week's video on triads, but today what we're gonna do is give you some more tools to start playing some really cool melodic solos. What this is gonna do is give you some really cool options when you're playing in a major key. Once you guys learn these concepts, you're gonna be able to move them all over the fretboard like we've done in the past. Let's get started on this and have fun. My name is Shane, here we go. So last week we learned um, a chord progression and triads all over the neck. So we use the chord, the A chord, the B minor, was two, the four was D, and the five was E. So today what we're gonna do is show you two really cool shapes that you guys can start playing. Here is the A chord right here. So there's a whole big scale here, but what I'm gonna show you is just an easy shape that you can start using. Um, the shape looks just like this. So it's got here, this is gonna be the major third of A. This is actually gonna be C sharp. So what we're gonna do is start here on the third string on the sixth fret, so this is uh, C sharp. And then we're gonna play this note right here, which is gonna be E, and then right here F sharp. And then we're gonna bring it down and play A and B. So all together we have here C sharp, E, F sharp, A, and B. I know a lot of people have probably taught this little lesson before. This is kind of like the house shape is what a lot of people will say. But what I like to do is add to it a little bit. So here's a super quick example of just playing with this part. Okay, so the really cool thing about this is once you know this little shape, Anytime you're playing in any key, you make your bar chord just like this. Keep this finger on here. This is your major third, and then you've got your house shape. Real easy to do. What I like to do is then add to that and come up here and play this other part of the pentatonic. So right here is your A note. So that is the key that we're playing in, or the chord. In this case, it's the actual key of the whole progression. So this is also A. See how that sounds the same? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna play it down here. So A, B, C sharp. So what this just did is it gave us two more notes that we can add to this little box, this little house box shape. So essentially, you can do stuff like this. You can do slide, double stop. Okay, so once you have that shape down, I'm saying it's two shapes, but it's really one. We're just gonna move it up. So what we're gonna do, if we got this in the key of A, right here, we're just gonna take and go up to the D chord right here. Just keep in mind this works in any major key. You just find the key that you're in, and you're gonna move up to the four chord, so that you start right here. It'll be up four from the last note of A. So if you have your house box for A, the last note B you count up. There's D. So here, here's your major third right here. It's gonna be F sharp. 
So you've got your house box shape. And exactly the same, it works uh, just as it does with the other one chord. Okay, so just in continuation, we can add these two notes here like we did on this first shape. So we've got right here, we've got our D note. Then we've got our E. And then our F sharp. So this little shape is just awesome because it just gives you so many cool options you can play. As we're going through this exercise, the cool thing is you guys can start mixing these and matching them. So you can play pieces of these little scale fragments um, while over the one chord and over the whole progression, but uh, the one chord being A and then uh, the four chord being uh, D, but you can use these interchangeably. It's just really cool. It's gonna give you guys some really cool options and unlock the fretboard and get you out of ruts that you guys may be stuck in. So when you start mixing and matching, you could start here. So that's adding both of them. Okay, so let's do like a kind of like a run, a slow run where we can bridge both of these little pieces together. So what we would do is something like this. So what I'm doing is I'm adding the scale together, I'm combining it. Okay, so something else you can do, once you have that little shape down, this is your A note right here, this is on the 12th fret. If you wanna get some more mileage out of it, you can come down here to the same premise. You got A, B, and then C sharp. So you could play. That's the same scale as this. We just moved it. Okay, so I hope you guys got something out of this, and I hope this is really cool. It shows you guys some cool options. So remember, what you do is anytime you're playing in a major key, you take the chord here, and then you make your little box, and then you make your little extension. And then when you're playing over the four chord, you can do the exact same thing. And a lot of times you can just play this four chord box over the entire thing and it'll work really good. But I like to add some variation and add the one chord box here too. Check out some other videos I've done here on soloing. You guys have a super day. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.